This is the end. And this is also a beginning. We are here in this liminal space at the end of four days together. We're still here remembering much that has happened and much that we've experienced, but our soft bellies are also moving in the direction of Lambright, where we will eat. <laughs> and we are also moving in the direction of home. Many of you have already packed your bags and you are ready to go. But stay here just for a while and we will eat together. And we will see Jesus one more time. This is our table. It is set for you. The Lord's Supper, we call it sometimes. We began with baptism, submersive, subversive, cold water on that cold night, recalling our death in baptism. And you're right, Jamie, the water was sanctified because God met us there. We came out of the water to new life. And then the next morning we were down on our knees again at an altar call of all things. And then we were up again rejoicing. This is God's table. No scarcity here. There's always more here at this table than we will ever need. In your Bibles, uh, sometimes there's a title to different sections. Sometimes this is called the Last Supper. I beg to differ with that. Oh, there was a supper where Jesus ate with his disciples on that night before he was crucified. Oh yeah, I get that, that happened. But, but, his tortured, incurved, dead body was gathered up by God and he stood and breathed and ate again with his disciples, the consequence of which is that there are only more suppers, right? More believers, more hallelujahs. Billions have eaten from this table. Thanks be to God, you know, we keep loading up the table. We keep eating and drinking and then we load it up again. Thanks be to God. We are fed at this table and there's no scarcity here. Not here. There was a woman who was bent over double incurved. You can't see very well when you're incurved like that. You can't look at others in the eye. She is pulled into herself, contorted in this way for 18 years. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward. In a lot of healing stories, the people ask for something. She, she didn't ask, not with words. Maybe she was asking with her body. But Jesus noticed this. And he called her forward and he said, Woman, you are free from your infirmity. Words that do. He put his hand on her and immediately she stood up and she praised God. Later he calls her a daughter of Abraham. She moves from being incurved to rejoicing. And by the end of the story, many people are doing this as well. There are also many people who started this way, interested in what Jesus had to say. They're open, and then something happened, and they closed down. 
Very similar to the story in John chapter 9. So this is the movement. You can do it in your body. You don't have a lot of space where you are. Or maybe you can do this. Bend yourself down where you are. This is the place of contortion for 18 years. This is the place where we can't help but only think of ourselves. Where we can't properly communicate with others. But then immediately, we are up. We are up and we have been saved and we are Rejoicing. This is the movement of baptism. This is the movement of confession. This is the movement of the altar call. This is also or can be a movement for the Lord's table. Ever noticed how, how we, when we're eating, especially at the beginning of a meal and especially when we're really hungry, we're actually kind of hunched over. The other day I was really hungry. I think I was eating with Sarah. She would have noticed this. And, and, and I was so hungry and it was almost like my, I wanted to keep my face really close to the plate. I was shoveling it in. I was so hungry. Hungry, hung, really genuinely hungry people eat like that when there's food because their bodies are incurved and waiting for the food. If you would like to, when you come forward for this meal, come just a little bit hunched over. Come really wanting and desiring this in a place of, of being incurved and imperfect but also beautiful. And then, once you have received the bread and the wine, do something like this. Hug somebody. Be open to a conversation, perhaps. This is the movement. Jesus said, this is my body broken for you. Jesus said, this is my blood shed for you. Amen.